Welcome back sa ating channel mga kaibigan and uh, I've uh, noticed na parang wala yata akong ginawang giveaway for this year or even since last year. So I think it's the perfect time since ang pag-uusapan natin is all about this Razer Black Widow V3 Pro wireless mechanical keyboard, the first from Razer. Magpapag-giveaway tayo ngayon ng Razer Viper mini giveaway and yes. I will state later at the end of the video kung paano sumali, like, comment, subscribe, etc. Pero bago po yan mga kaibigan, since the topic is all about the first wireless mechanical keyboard by Razer, we have here also the first Razer gaming keyboard in the year 2006. This is Razer Tarantula. Sobrang infamous po niya mga kaibigan. Parang bibihira lang yata ang nakakaalala or I think hindi siya as hype as the Black Widow variants ng uh, Razer. Pero this is not only the first gaming keyboard, it is actually the first keyboard released by Razer. And uh, thank you Sir Gerald Miko Andaya for uh, entrusting us this piece of history pagdating sa IT industry. Sobrang malaking pasasalamat ko po kay Sir Gerald Andaya. And uh, kung hindi dahil sa kanya, hindi po natin nahahawakan ngayon ang pinakaunang Razer keyboard for our collections. Sobrang sulit nito. Yeah, amoy vintage. And dahil nga sobrang tuwang tuwa ako sa regalo ni Sir, kaya naman po ako rin ay magpaparegalo or magpapag-giveaway ng Razer Viper mouse. Dahil nga ang ifi-feature din natin ngayon for insights and overviews only is etong Viper 8K mouse dahil sobrang trending ng mga Razer Viper series nila that is I think arguably one of the best if not the best gaming mouse as of 2021 and yes for more videos like this feel free to subscribe and let's talk about this first wireless mechanical keyboard this video is brought to you by SCD Key, the best website that you may visit in terms of a uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares games and yes operating system and there you are you may check the windows 10 pro and by using our promo code ma avail mo lang siya ng around 14 dollars and 95 cents or 700 plus pesos that's it mga kaibigan check the description below may mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website okay so hindi na natin papatagalin pag-uusapan na natin kagad itong Razer Black Widow V3 Pro Wireless mechanical keyboard Nasa sobrang ganda niya There are things na I doubt you will love it too Pero there are things na kumbaga kinonsider ko Why I should do this Or why I should modify this To personalize as my daily driver mechanical keyboard Pero before natin pag-usapan yung mga bagay-bagay na yun Let's go first sa mga details Unang-una Yung packaging pala niya, sobrang premium na. Makikita mo dyan na fino-front niya yung uh, sobrang bright, sobrang vivid na colors ng kanyang RGB lightings and then uh, details or highlighted features like Razer Green uh, switches, tactile, Razer Hyperspeed technology, and yes, double shot ABS keycaps. And yan po yung mga mismong nakita natin with this keyboard. Sa stock po na build niya, Makikita nyo po that it comes with those ABS plastic keycaps that is uh, really thick. Uh, it's not that uh, kumbaga, common na uh, medyo manipis na mga ABS plastic kaya medyo tunog halo. With this, at a price of 11k to 12k, I think they should improve that part talaga na yung keycaps is dapat kahit pa paano makapal. Going uh, deeper, makikita nyo po na yung kanyang uh, top mount or top uh, plate is made of aluminum alloy and also that will serve as the top case ng ating mismong board. Then, yung isang ago pansin dito sa ibabaw is yung kanyang dial, uh, sometimes called knob, and uh, you can use it as a volume control. Out of the box, yun po yung nakaprogram, pero you can also reprogram it kung gusto nyo maging scroll wheel, pero I think the best uh, purpose or option for that is to use it as a volume control. And dito rin po sa kanyang tabi, meron tatlong special buttons for multimedia keys. And yes, it is a 100% layout mechanical keyboard. And uh, makikita nyo din yan sa ibabaw yung uh, logo ng Razer na nag-illuminate. And dito sa may bandang uh, left side, nandito po yung mga 
uh, tri-mode connections like uh, you have here the uh, wireless connection and the bluetooth connection kasi yung pangatlo po dun is yung wired mode which is uh, dahil nga wireless po ito if uh, malulobat po siya or may empty po yung battery niya you can just plug the wire and magre-recharge po siya and yet you can still use the mechanical keyboard while charging and then going at the bottom side makikita nyo po dyan yung apat na rubber feet meron din po siyang uh, part dyan kung saan nakalagay yung uh, USB dongle and yung kanyang stand is a uh, 6 degrees option and 9 degrees option. Ibig sabihin, mas matangkad po yung uh, uh, 9 degrees compared sa 6 degrees. Then, before we will go deeper sa iba pang details sa itong mechanical keyboard, I just want to share to you guys why on earth you made this customization. Like, bakit? Nagpalit ka ng uh, keycaps at the same time, nagpalit ka ng switch. Actually, I replaced this with a linear one. Kasi meron po sa akin is a tactile. Actually, meron po siyang dalawang option. The yellow linear or this green tactile. Pero since wala po ako ng yellow linear, medyo hindi na po kaya ng budget to spend another 11K. Then, I just made this uh, kind of customization para marinig nyo kung ano yung magiging tunog ng linear. Pero at the same time, since usong-uso na rin yung customization ngayon, I use lubed and film C3 tangerines para magkaroon kayo ng idea kung ano yung pwede yung gawing customization sa mga pre-built mechanical keyboards nyo. Like, you may also add foams. Yan po yung mga parang kumbaga uh, not so expensive upgrades. Then next, you may uh, change the keycaps if you want to be a bit uh, uh, kumbaga mag-iba yung aesthetics nya. And then third is palitan yung switch and then add lube sa mga stabilizers para kahit pa paano ma-minimize yung rattle. Since hindi ko na talaga na-document lahat yung buong process dahil nga wala po sa intention ko na i-video po ito. It's just that um, dahil natuwa ako sa naging uh, kinalabasan kaya dinocument or I just did this video para at least you will have the idea. Okay, so let's do this. Listen sa mga sound test na gagawin natin. Observe nyo po yung mga caption. Nandyan po lahat yung mga details of what you should consider while watching this sound test video.
Okay, so that's it mga kaibigan. Hopefully, the video uh, stated all uh, infos that you need. And uh, kung may dadagdag man siguro ako, keyboard is all about preference. So, uh, there's no perfect review or there's no perfect ranking of which is which is the best pagdating sa mechanical keyboard. Kasi there are maybe standards like for this Razer mechanical keyboard, isa sa mga naging dahilan kung bakit nag-effort ako. Kasi this is worth 11K and sometimes you will think na, sir, parang napaka-nonsense move yung ginawa mo. Pero the thing kasi na nangyari dito is I love the software of Razer. I love the uh, layout dahil pwede kong maging daily driver. I'm into production. I do a lot of uh, uh, things and I'm dealing with a lot of numbers every day. So, this numpad is very important para sa akin. I also have external uh, numpad na keyboard that I use with uh, my TKL 75% or uh, 60% mechanical keyboards. Pero sometimes there are people like me na meron yung mga days or months na parang mas trip ko yung 100% layout for this month. Some of us may hate Razer, pero look, there are still things done by Razer why they are very worth it brand. There are things that I hate as well, like the materials with that branding. Razer is now a big brand. Why on earth they are not still doing some kind of a uh, uh, adjustment pagdating sa kanilang product line. Dapat nag-release na sila ngayon ng mga full alo mechanical keyboard. With that uh, tagline na meron sila na for gamers, by gamers, dapat Razer. Hindi lang sa mouse kayo mag step up. Dapat pati rin sa mechanical keyboard. Ang dami ng mga sinisigaw ng mga fans that please improve the materials. Yung iba, hindi na masyadong uh, nagtatagal. So, I think those are the things na kailangan talaga nilang i-improve. Pero for now, since ang topic natin is all about this mechanical keyboard, I will isolate the topic lang din kung ano yung mga ginawa ko with this a new favorite of mine. Pero actually, meron po siyang kasamang wrist rest na meron ding uh, memory foam. And yes, dahil sinabi ko kanina, i-feature natin ang ating Viper 8K. Ang ganda po nitong mouse ato. It's my new favorite as of now. As much as I uh, sakto lang na nagustuhan ko out of the box itong uh, Black Widow V3 Pro. Ito naman, sobrang nagustuhan ko out of the box. Magaan po siya. Uh, that high DPI is a uh, very uh, uh, useful para sa akin. Ako kasi yung user na pumipitik-pitik lang pagdating sa mouse. Ayaw ko yung halos nasasaklaw ko yung buong mouse pad pag uh, ginagalaw ko yung mismong mouse. And the uh, grip, sakto para sa mga uh, palm type na katulad ko. Claw type. Siguro kung talagang malaki yung kamay ninyo for this uh, kind of uh, mouse. Pero for me, saktong-sakto siya. Yung umbok niya dito is just, uh, yan, fit lang. Hindi siya yung sobrang maumbok. So, it's, uh, so I think uh, most of the Filipino guys out there na, ayun, typical lang naman ako na Pinoy. Yung laki ng palad ko at saka yung height ko, halos uh, proportional naman. And uh, etong Viper 8K as like any other Razer Viper mouse out there, sobrang sulit niya for the price, at the same time for the size, sakto lang. The Viper Mini kasi sobrang liit naman para sa akin. And that uh, RVU, Razer Viper Ultimate, is so much pricey. So the closest thing na pwede kong ma-experience ang Razer Viper uh, mouse is to avail this Razer Viper 8K. Ambidextrous po siya mga kaibigan. Uh, meron siyang rubber grip. Uh, both sides yan dual button may uh, dalawang button din both uh, sides so uh, ayun uh, very crisp yung kanyang uh, uh, buttons uh, tactile i may stay and yung curve dito sa mismong uh, left and right button is uh, sakto lang po siya to position uh, both fingers hindi po siya sobrang flat hindi rin po siya sobrang curved na uh, kumbaga medyo nakakaasiwa na Ito saktong-sakto lang. It's a very good mouse. It's just my insight and overview out of the box. Uh, maybe if uh, we need uh, more details soon, let's try to uh, do uh, some uh, review for this after we will use this for uh, gaming. Pero as of now kasi, medyo may sitwasyon kasi kami ngayon dito about uh, COVID-19. Kaya medyo uh, wala akong kasama to do all of the things pagdating sa reviews. So I just uh, featured it dahil sobrang nagustuhan ko itong mouse na to. 
Kaya naman po, nang dahil sa mouse ito, magpapag-giveaway po ako ng Razer Viper Mini Giveaway. Ang gagawin lang po natin is mag-comment, mag-subscribe tayo dito sa ating channel, and share this video public sa inyong mga Facebook account para yun po yung gagamitin natin to verify soon if you really joined this raffle within the time frame from this date, next month, same date, i-announce ko po yung winner. If not same date, after, like uh, within the 5 days. Kasi in every week, meron naman po tayong 2 to 3 videos. Stay safe everyone. Health is the most important thing as of now na pandemic.